Hey guys, this is the official guess with a new tutorial for you all on how to add effect to Cinema 4D text in Photoshop. Basically, this tutorial will teach you how to take an object like this and transform it into text with layer styles, etc., like this. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Uh, you obviously want to render out your text first, which I've already done. Uh, I'll include the C4D file for this uh, Lightroom in the description. Uh, just for those of you wondering, this is not my official Lightroom. This is just a Lightroom that I came across that seemed to suit this tutorial quite well. So don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Alright, um, so you obviously add in your text, and the first thing that I generally do is, you know, double click on your layer to get, bring up your layer style, and we'll just go over to drop shadow, and you just want to bring, bring it to 90, I like to bring the opacity up to 100, bring the distance to 3, spread to 2, and the size to 1, and then we just want to go down to the um, outer glow, we'll change the colour to black, I'm just going to lift the opacity, take the spread to 2, and the size to 1. Then we come down to color overlay. Now this text in particular has a lot of color to it, but lots of texts won't be bright enough once rendering them. Therefore, this comes in quite handy. Although it would still add add a lot of effect to this uh, text here, even though it's quite a colorful text alone. So you just want to choose the color relevant to the color of your text. Set the blending mode to overlay and then just bring the opacity down. And there you go. And then we move on to the gradient overlay. Set it to overlay again. I generally just leave it as black and white. And you can play around with the distance in which the black comes up from the bottom. Like in your own time. And uh, align with center, yeah, just leave everything the same basically. Uh, th there is the option of changing your style to reflected and reverse, which does this transverse effect of coming from bottom to top into coming from top to bottom and basically leaves it brighter in the middle, which is quite a good effect. And that's basically all for my layer style. Then I head over to my textures. I'll also include these textures in the description. Um, we'll go with uh, go with some textures that I got in Chronique's GFX pack. If you want to go for a grungy effect. And this this one here is the one to go with. You just want to firstly change the well, rasterize layer, and then change the saturation to zero, and then just create a clipping mask and set your options to soft light. Control J to duplicate that layer bring it across to where it meets the other layer in fact I'm just gonna make this a lot easier for you bring it across into where that two layers meet and so that you don't get the line through the middle that looks quite um you know like disrupts what's going on you just control T brings up your transform and then just flip it horizontally and they'll merge without having that line through the middle it works quite well but I like to think um, and you can just 
hold control, click both layers and create clipping mask and once you've done this you can just bring the opacity of both layers down which will basically strengthen or take away from the effect of the texture um, other textures I tend to use would be this water plane texture adds quite a nice effect to the text Just simply create a clipping mask once again I'm going to leave this colour blue since my actual text is blue I'm going to add a soft light and just decrease the opacity of this quite a lot because it's not the best the best look and there we go uh, we've basically transformed text from purely cinema 4D text cinema 4D text that doesn't look too you know extravagant looks quite bland you transform that into something that looks quite quite a bit different and yeah quite quite actually meaningful so I'm just adding another one to the middle and brushing off the edges and there we go so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and until next time that's all from me Gaz out